Theo Fleury's new book is called Playing with Fire, and when you read it, you realize it has several meanings. Certainly, he played with fire in his belly. There's absolutely no doubt about that. But he also played with fire in his life with addictions and abuse, and it almost cost him his life. Theo Fleury sat down with THN in downtown Toronto recently to talk about his new book. Hello, Theo. Hey, How are you? Nice Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, uh, you take on a couple of uh, pretty... Uh, pretty big time organizations like the NHL and, and I, I just want to make sure that I, I understood what I read with respect to the substance abuse program. Um, I get the sense from reading your book that, that they knew that you were dirty and that you were testing mm -hmm. dirty mm -hmm. and that they turned a blind eye to it. I wouldn't say they turned a blind eye to it. I would just say that I, pu I put them in a really tough position. You know, because I was playing some of the best hockey I played. Right. And, uh, you know, I'm grateful for that program, let me tell you. I truly am, you know. Even though you call Dr. Lewis a dickhead at one point in your book? Well, yeah, but that's, you know, <laughs> yeah. that's my own shit, right? Right, right. And you got to remember, I started writing this book three years ago. And, you know through writing the book and, and continuing on my, on my own journey, I've come to realize that, you know, he wasn't a dick. He was just trying to help me out, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, those, I made, you know, I made choices, I made decisions, you know? Um, and, you know, I'm the type of guy, I take everything as far as it'll go, you know? Because I don't, like, I'm calling your bluff, right? You say you're going to do this? Well, I'm going to make sure that we're going to go all the way. Because I need to know if you're true to who you say you are. And, but, like I said, you know, I, I made all those decisions. I made the choices. I, I chose to drink. I chose to do drugs. And I knew what the, I knew what the consequences were, you know? Did I think that they were going to pull me out of the NHL? Not a chance. But did, did I give them no choice? Yeah, I, did, I gave them absolutely no choice but to, mm -hmm. you know? Does it work? Does, it, does, the, does the program yeah, work in terms of, you know, I, I'm, I, it sort of leads me to think, well, how many other guys are? Mm. Out there are are but you gotta not being pulled out. But you got to remember, this is part of the collecting bargaining agreement, right? right? So right. all this stuff is bargained in the collect and is part of the union, right? So I went to stage four because what do I do? I take it always to the very end. You know what I mean? Yeah. See how far I can take it. But it does work because I'm sitting here today after having a gun in my mouth. And I'm sober for four years, and you know, I write a book that's completely open and honest, which says, you know what, the program does work, yeah. because you know I don't give a shit what people think about me. You know, I just want to help somebody, because the more people I help, the sober I, I, I stay, and the sober I, I get, and the more sober I am. So. <clears throat> um, you know, was I bitter at the time? Yeah, probably, for sure. Um, because, you know, when you, when you go through, you know, you don't pick your parents, you know, a lot of times you don't pick who your coaches are. And then they, they, do, they do stuff to, you know, to take trust and, and, and all that away from you. That's not my fault. You know, none of that is my fault, you know? It was, I was just a victim of circumstances. And uh, so you're filled up with a lot of anger and, you know, guilt and shame and all that stuff, you know? And then I enter the, the program and we start to work on, on me, finally, you know? And I get some relief at the first one. Get a little more at the second, a little more at the third, a little more at the fourth, you know? You know, I start working the 12 steps of A, you know, getting more relief, getting more tools, da 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 until four years ago, 
you know, I could make a decision that I didn't need the booze anymore to deal with life on life's terms and live a day-to-day -day existence, you know, and it was because I went through a program and it got me, you know, got me to where I am today. I think, you know, people outside of the game, and I include myself in that, mm -hmm. even though I've covered the game for a long time, I think we're, we all kind of wonder exactly how prevalent the use of alcohol and to a lesser extent drugs are. Mm. And, and I mean, you, you paint a pretty interesting picture when you say things like, um, bonding with your teammates is important, but there are only so many bowling alleys you can go to. For a lot of the guys, drinking is a way to unwind after games. You think some players on every team in the league don't go out and smoke dope or drink and party and get behind the wheel? Maybe in an alternate, alternative universe, but not in this one. How, how big of an issue is it? Well, it's not, it's not only an issue in hockey, it's an issue in every walk of life, you know? Um, I can only tell from my own experiences because I, I grew up in hockey. But, you know, when I was drinking, I was drinking with, you know, the Wall Street guys. I was drinking with, you know, the regular Joe, factory worker, you know. And we're all the same, you know. Uh, we can't handle the stress of life from our own past experiences, so what do we do? We drink. Because that's the medicine, you know. To self-medicate, that's the medicine. Um, And, you know, I, I, grew up, I grew up in a different era, you know. It's not like that anymore because, you know, I saw it. I, I, was, I was at camp, you know. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, you know, guys are more serious. Plus, you know, you can't, you just can't do it, you know. You play too many games and nowadays in a short period of time. And, but, uh, but back in the day, you know, that's what they did. The money wasn't big either, you know. How money's huge, so you know it's important to take care of yourself and pick your spots. And you know, whereas you know back in the old days, it was you know everybody was together and everybody was having a drink and you know hanging out and having fun.